I just didn't like the feel of it. It, it just felt a little too um, slick. The CFL asks the federal government for $150 million to help weather the COVID-19 outbreak. As we learn, the pandemic response will see the federal deficit explode, leaving some questions if the league should have called an audible. Well, some people would say, oh, that's professional sport that falls outside of that confines. I would say the CFL, you know, is not the same as the NHL. It's not the same as the NFL. It operates on a different economic model. I can on a certain level respect the idea of, well, why not us too? But at the same time, uh, there's maybe a, a lack of uh, self-awareness that are you really uh, that needy compared to other sectors of the economy? The ask comes as the Parliamentary Budget Office releases numbers showing measures announced as of April 24th total $146 billion and is now estimating the federal deficit will balloon to $252.1 billion. We will continue to support Canadians to get through this in the best possible way so that our economy, economy can come roaring back. The CFL is going to survive this uh, even if there's no season in 2020. And so they're, they're probably maybe a little less worthy of asking for financial support than, say, some of the larger corporations in Canada that have way more employees and that are going to need way more support to get through. Most Canadian players, stadium staff and others should be able to apply for one of the programs already set up by the federal government. It's kind of unclear what that money is for other than maybe subsidizing other aspects of their business operations that are being affected. So that's where I thought that was kind of just a little, it didn't just sit right. And the benefit of sport is tricky to measure because there are so many intangible benefits in addition to the tangible benefits. There are the economic ones, um, which we've spoken to already, uh, but there are also the social, the psychological, the national unity and the things, and, and they're, they're harder to quantify. By making the ask, the CFL also risks burning political capital when it comes time to build new stadiums. If the government gives the league the cash, it may find other pro sports leagues asking for a similar deal. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.